I am Fiza Muskan. So in today's video, we'll be discussing introduction to Python programming, in which we'll be discussing about how to end a program early with system exit function. Topics to be covered in this video are basic introduction to Python, what can Python do, how to use exit function in Python, example usage of exit function, and with its code and the code explanation, best practices when using the exit function and conclusion. So basic introduction to Python. Python is a popular programming language. It was created by Guido Van Rossen and released in 1991. It is used for web development, software development, mathematics and system scripting, and etc. What can Python do? Python can be used on a server to create web applications. Python can be used alongside software to create workflows. Python can connect to database systems. It can also read and modify files. Python can be used to handle big data and perform complex mathematics. Python can be used for rapid prototyping or for production ready software development. So coming on to the topic which is exit function in Python. The exit function in Python is used to exit or terminate the current running script or program. You can use it to stop the execution of the program at any point. When the exit function is called, the program will immediately stop running and exit. The syntax for the exit function is given below. Example usage of exit function. Here is a simple code for exiting a program. In this example, the program will print before exit, but when the exit function is called with a status of one, the program will terminate immediately without executing the remaining code. Therefore, the line after exit will not be printed. So let us execute this program. Here you can see only the before exit is executed. How to use the exit function in Python? Program is given below. We will try to execute this program. The program is getting executed here. We can see welcome to the program. And here there is a question. Do you want to exit the program with Y or N? Now we'll type Y and see what it gets executed. We can see that the program is exiting. So the code explanation is the script starts by importing the system module which provides access to this exit function. The main function serves as the entry point of the program. You can add your code and operations within this function. Within the main function, you can perform various operations. Within the main function, you can perform various operations. In this example, you simply print a welcome message and ask the user if they want to exit. After receiving user input, you check if the user wants to exit by comparing their input to Y, case insensitive. If the condition is true, you call the exit program function to terminate the script. Exit program function prints a message indicating that the program is exiting and then call system exit zero to terminate the program. The argument zero passed to system exit indicates a successful termination. 
You can choose a different exit code if needed. Finally, you check if the script is being executed as the main module by using the name variable. If it is, you call the main function to start the program. Here are some best practices when using the exit function. Import the system module. Before using the exit function, you need to import the system module at the beginning of your script. Include the following line of code. Determine the exit condition. Identify the condition or situation where you want to exit the program. This can be based on user input, a specific event, an error condition, or any other criteria that require the program to stop. Use system exit to terminate the program. When exit condition is met, call the system exit function to halt the program's execution. You can pass an optional exit status code as an argument to the function indicating the reason for termination. Again, a status code of zero is typically used to indicate successful program completion, while non-zero values represent different types of errors or exceptional conditions. If condition met, system exit, terminate the program with status code zero. You can also pass a status code to provide additional information. If error occurred, system exit one, terminate the program with status code one indicating an error. Then the last one is document exit conditions. It's important to document the specific exit conditions in your code and provide comments indicating why the program is being terminated. This helps other developers understand the purpose and behavior of the exit call. So let us conclude. In summary, this presentation showed you how to utilize the exit function in Python to determine program execution. Optionally, an exit status code can be passed as an argument providing additional information about the reason for termination. By adhering to these best practices, you can effectively utilize the system exit function in Python to stop a program when necessary. It is crucial to exercise caution and judicially employ this function and only use it in appropriate circumstances when you want to forcefully halt the execution of your Python script under, under certain conditions or when you need to terminate the program abruptly. Some scenarios where you might want to use the exit functions are error handling, condition termination, testing, debugging, and script completion. Thank you.